Years ago when I was having dinner, I got an emergency phone call from the local police department. It was the SWAT team and they asked if I could come immediately and help them. One of the patients from a mental health clinic had barricaded himself into, in a house with a weapon and was refusing to come out and he would only surrender to me. And so the police called and asked if I could please come about half an hour away from my home and help them get this man to surrender and come out of the house. Well, this was a little bit of an unusual circumstance for me. So I got in the car and had a police escort down to the uh, street where the barricade was taking place. And while I was going in, I thought, you know, I've watched SWAT teams on television and I'm, sh I'm a very quick learner. I'm sure that I could quickly be trained how to rappel down the side of an apartment building and use night vision glasses and pepper spray and mace and simple weapons training and wear the body armor. So I was sort of psychologically prepared to, you know, really get into it. And so when I got there, the streets barricaded, it's, it's nighttime, there's emergency vehicles everywhere, lights flashing. And so I was ready to get all my equipment on and the policeman just said, okay, go to the door. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. I was wanting the gear. And so I went up to the door of the house without any special protection at all. And everywhere around the house in all the shrubs and right at the side of the door were policemen in black with heavy armor and big guns. And the most unsettling thing for me was right beside the door that I was going to knock on were two big policemen with pepper spray pointed at me. So if there was going to be an altercation, I would get blasted. So the moment came. I knocked on the door. My patient inside said, yes. I called him by name and said, it's time to come out. And he said, okay. He walks through the door. I take him to the hospital and it's all over. I was the hero. And I didn't even break a sweat. Now, why was it that I was able to solve this crisis and the SWAT team with all their equipment, all their training, all their years of experience in negotiating with people in hostage situations, how come they couldn't do it and I could? It's because I was uniquely gifted for this divine appointment. You see, we all have unique gifts and we all have divine appointments waiting for us. And when my appointment time came, I was able to use my unique gift and it was so easy for me because I was ready for this assignment where the, the SWAT team, they weren't given that unique gift that I have. So God's given each one of us a unique gift. And so now your task is to watch for the divine appointments when you get to step in and you be the hero. So don't be afraid to step in to a divine appointment. Don't hold back and say, oh, I just don't think I can do this. If God has prepared you for this, you are ready to go. And so go and be the hero in your divine appointment. Now to live a transformed life, you have to be ready to step into a divine appointment. Now I wanna hear from you. How has God used your unique gifts to do something in his kingdom? Just leave your comments in the box below. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form right there. And I'll talk to you again next week.